kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 4 of my video series on voice changer app using Android studio Alright guys so there we had two methods the first one was the play record and the second one was the start record Alright so first of all what uh, we are going to do is we are first of all uh, going to start our uh, code for the start code method and in this method we will uh, fetch the file uh, I mean we will uh, have the absolute path for our file where, where we will uh, store it then we will uh, use the buffered output stream to buffer the data and then we will uh, what we will do is we will use the audio record uh, class to record the audio all right with the help of start recording method so we will basically start the record and then store it in okay so how we can do that so first of all here uh, you can see inside our start record method we will first of all have file my file equal to new file and inside uh, inside this file we are going to use environment dot get external storage directory dot get absolute path and we will specify our folder name so here we have test.pcm so we can say all right and after this we uh, we can save my file dot create new file all right it is saying an error because we need to uh, put it inside our try catch block so here we will add the exception uh, io exception here and finally we can use the output stream so here we have the output stream uh, equal to new output put stream and inside this output stream we will pass our my file here all right now it is saying another thing because it is saying that output stream is uh, okay so here we can need to use file output stream all right and after this we will use the buffered uh, output stream so we can say buffered output stream equal to new buffered output stream and here we will pass our output stream uh, here and then we can use the data output stream so we can say data output stream equal to new data output stream and inside this we will pass our buffered eight output stream so now we can fetch our uh, the buffer uh, the minimum buffer size so we can say in min buffer size and how we can fetch it we can say audio record dot get min bu get min buffer size and inside this we will first of all specify our sample rate uh, okay so that will be in uh, hertz so here we can say our sample hertz size is this then we need the channel configuration for that we need an integer so we pass two and then we need the audio format and what will be the audio of audio format so we can also specify two and then we pass the min buffered size okay uh, no okay so we will just specify our audio format here and we will close it and now what we can do is we need to have a short integer so we can say short uh, i mean a short array and here we can have audio data equal to new short and in here we will pass our minimum minimum buffer size and here we will 
now we can start our recording so for that we need to use audio record what you gonna see Sure. audio record equal to uh, new audio record and here we can say one uh, for the audio source then we have the sample uh, sample rate and then we have the channel configured then we have the audio format and then we have the minimum buffer size okay so now we can use the while loop and we can start the recording so first of all we can say audio uh, audio record dot start recording and here we can use while so we can say while recording and inside this we first of all need to have a number of short so we can say in number of short equal to uh, audio record uh, dot read okay so now we will start reading the output stream so here we can say audio data and then we can use uh, zero for the size in bytes and we can say min buffer size all right and then we can use the for loop so we can say for int i equal to zero i less than uh, number of short i plus plus and here we can say data output stream dot write short okay and in here we will provide our audio data of index i all right and then here we can check if uh, recording dot boolean value is not true then we can stop the audio record so we can say audio record dot stop and also we can say data output stream dot close and yes that's it now there is an error i don't know where is this error popping up okay so here it is saying that we need to handle it inside our try cache block so we can surround it with try cache block all right there will also be this now there is an another error all right and uh, 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 that is it for our uh, start record method so i give you a, a uh, what we have done uh, recap so here we have used the file for and we have created the file i mean the folder here test.pcm then we use the output stream then we use the buffered output stream to get the data uh, the stream from the, our output stream and then we use the the data output stream to fetch the data from the buffered output stream then we use the minimum buffer size and we specified the samples uh, rate then we specified the channel configure and we also specified our audio format and it will be two so let's see what will be the audio format here you can see equal to two channel count is true and audio format okay so here we then use the short uh, array for our audio data that will record our, uh, that will be the of the size minimum buffer size and then we specified our audio record and started recording all right that was it uh, let me see if I can have the play record uh, we can yes cover it it the play record function okay so now we need to have the play record method so first of all here we can now play it so first of all we can say integer i equal to zero then we can say string now we need to fetch the uh, text from our spinner so we, for that we can say string uh, str equal to and it will be of type string then we can say sp frequency dot get 
selected item right then we can have file equal to uh, okay so I think we have this file here so we can say in short size in bytes and it will be equal to short dot size divided by byte dot size alright then we can say in buffer size in bytes and it will be equal to integer file dot length and divided by short size in bytes and there we can say short uh, audio data equal to new short and here we can have buffered size in bytes then we need to use now the input stream to read the data so for that we have input stream input stream equal to new file input stream and here we can pass our file and it is saying for the io exception for file not found exception so here inside after we specified our input stream so we can now use the buffered input stream so for that we can say buffered input stream equal to new buffered input stream and here we will pass our input stream then we can use data input stream data input stream equal to new data input stream and here we can pass our buffered input stream then we can say integer uh, j equal to 0 then we can use while data input stream dot available is greater than 0 and for the available we need to use round it with try catch block then here we can say if it is uh, greater than 0 then we can say audio data of uh, j equal to data input stream dot read short all right then we will say j plus plus and after this while loop ends so we can now close our data input stream so for that we can just say data input stream dot close and then we can check if str dot equals ghost then we need to set the frequency to 5000 then we need to check if str dot equals slow motion then we can say i equal to 6050 then here we can also check if str dot equals robot then we can have i equal to 8500 then we need to check if uh, uh, for the normal so we can see if str dot equals normal and it will be equal to uh, 1025 then if str dot equals chipmunk and it will be equal to solar 16000 then we need can check if str dot equals uh, funny and we can set the frequency to 22050 then we can check if str dot equals b then we can say equal to 41000 then we can check if str dot equals elephant then we can say i equal to 30000 and then we can use our audio track so for that we can say equal to new audio track and here we will first of all specify our stream type that will be 3 then we need to use i then we can use the channel configure as 2 then audio format as 2 and buffer size in bytes and we can use the mode 1 
and finally we can say audio track uh, sorry audio track dot play and then we can say audio track dot write and inside that we can pass audio data and then we can pass zero and buffer size in bytes all right guys so that is it but i still have some errors so let me see where are the error okay so it's, it's saying that it also needs to surround with try cache block and yes uh, now our code is complete for the start record and the uh, play record methods okay so guys i think that is enough for today i will uh, make the last part i mean the, the part five so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel goodbye